So today we'll probably conclude whether we win the league and move or we don't win the league and move. It's a biggie, viewers, and it starts with the Milan derby. Folks, welcome back to Glory Hunter with me, Lotto Benji FM. Good to see you. I hope I find you very well. Now, we've played one game in between our last meeting and this, and uh, it was pretty successful. A 5-1 victory, the biggest surprise of all, though, viewers. You can see it there. Easter Akadi getting himself a hat-trick, and Andy Carroll and Danny Graham both coming on at some point. Uh, yeah, three for Akadi. Massive. I mean, considering he's been a player which is found in different form this season, I hope he can take that into the upcoming games, although we're not going to be at full strength. Joachim Anderson is injured and won't be able to feature for us for a few weeks, which is a big shame. Uh, SMS is returning to fitness but not quite there yet again it's going to be a couple of weeks and Lucas Dene has got groups of five bookings already so we'll miss the game through suspension great when you bring a, a player in like him then he can't even feature uh, the other bit of news though you let's take a look at our fixtures you'll notice that the Zebra game has moved they have progressed in the Champions League and as a result of our death fixture moved to a Wednesday night which means Milan and Parma are our two fixtures today it's going to be interesting uh, our rival and a team that I've previously done a series with there's not too many of those teams out there so to play Parma in the in the in the hope of winning a league title at some point this season will be emotional. Let's just say that then, viewers. Uh, you take a look at the Serie A table. Four points behind Lazio, who played earlier today, hence the, the gap uh, difference there. We, of course, have that game in hand, which will still put us points behind. Them. But the big news, really, for me, was that Lazio uh, midweek lost a game. I don't, I don't actually know. Was it midweek? I think it was. No, it was last Sunday, sorry. Uh, we didn't have a game for whatever reason, and they lost to Atalanta 3-1. They've still got the advantage. They're still a point ahead, but it does make the gap ever closer. It makes me realise that if we'd beaten them, this would be far easier. So the team, then, for this Milan derby is as follows. Handanovic will be in goal. Skrini at the fridge and Godin at the back. Asamoah back in at left wing back. Lazaro on the other side. Pogba, Barella, Asensio, Martinez and Akadi up front. I changed Asensio last game to an Enganch and this is one of those situations viewers, where I've changed Asensio to a role and he's been brilliant and we've won 5-1. If he does the same again today, that would be great. I don't know if he will. I feel like he won't. We'll see. Basically trying to make Asensio the focal point of the system. That's sort of the idea with it. Uh, I'm saying Enganch. Some people will say it's not said like that. I've always said Ngansh, I feel like I'm, I'm too, it's too late to change. 29, old people's rights and all that, you know? All right, then the Milan Derby at the San Siro. Same, same thing. The San Siro. Here we go. Milan, of course, uh, two points behind us with that game in hand. So no matter what happens here, we could still go above them no matter what. But um, yeah, still a game we have to win. More to the point, we have to stay close to Lazio, who could do a back-to-back -back Serie A like, league title win. That is as bizarre as us winning the league, I feel like. Sorry, as us winning the Champions League, I feel like. This system, I've been having a look at the formations. This is the system we perform best against. So I'm quietly confident. We need a big performance from Pogba. Christmas Accardi, I'm looking at you. We need to win this game. With the away side, I wonder how much that actually affects players of, of Milan and Inter when they have to play at the stadium that they always play at but are down as the away team. I do wonder. Because I bet the away dressing room is just the same dressing room as Easter Riccardi, by the way. Big chance early on versus Milan. Easter Riccardi. Donnarumma gets like, enough on it to, to not let it go into the goal, which is his job technically, as now Thorgan Hazard with a corner, played in, the fridge gets there first, but they're not finished yet. Hazard back inside. I'm a little nervous. They've got loads of space there. Can we clear this, please? Duarte back a little bit. As uh, Well, we've done relatively well in the first phase, and Asamoah jumps on that, and now races forward. The ball forward, though, could be key. He's got loads of players around him. Just keeping it would be good enough. As Martinez, I thought he was offside. He was in on goal. I don't know if he was off. It's not being given, and Donnarumma with another big save. Of course, the aim of the game is to win all the trophies, and I don't think I'm going to do a third year at Inter. I don't know. I st I'm still not 100% sure. Again, I'm, I'm interested in your feedback, whether we move on. It'll partially be down to the jobs available, but we're getting to that point now. Four or five games left of the season. It has to be part of the conversation. Something I didn't really... Oh, hang on. We'll talk about it in a moment. Milan have got a throw and uh, they're in our half. Again, we've seen those already. They counter from this. No. Oh, my God. They've hit the bar from 60 miles away. Martinez has been hauled down there by Ron Magnoli. He's probably going to go into the book for that and does. They've got a couple of defenders now on bookings. That might play into our hands. Pretty quiet, though, throughout this game. Serve day. Neither side playing too badly, too well. And at half time, it's nil-nil. Of course, we play a more defensive system. I'd expect us of less possession, less shots, that sort of thing. And we're playing cautiously as well. I want to stay in this game. I'm actually pleased with how things are going. They don't like it. I want them to still know that I'm pleased. 
pleased. I forget their reaction. I want them to know that I'm pleased with how this has gone so far. Free kick though. Hazard with it. Whipped towards the edge of the box. They've hit the bar again. Or the post I think it was this time. Goodness me. They are starting to come a little stronger now. As uh, Theo Hernandez just about keeps that in. But the highlight's over. Now, as we go further into this game, the plan is to eventually become a more positive forward-thinking team. We'll go to balance for the next sort of 10, 15 minutes. I'm looking at Asensio there having a poor game. So typical of him. Do I bring him out wide? That's the question. Do I stick him out here? We've done it so many times before. I'm thinking we do it again, but as a playmaker, maybe. Icardi's having a quiet game. Asensio has the one, isn't it? Barella and Pogba need to have more of an impact. It might happen more if they're given a bit more space to move into. Carry on. At this point, not going to make any changes. And now, with 15 to go, we go more positive. They may, they've made a couple of changes themselves. Easter Icardi. I'm going to have to get him off. And, I, and you're not going to like this, viewers, but you know what I'm going to do. Is it Carroll? Is it Esposito? Is it Graham? I think it's Andy Carroll, just because he's the, he's the biggest physical force that we've got. Target man support. We've got a couple of players around him. Can he make the difference? Oh, do I go three up top and bring another one on as well? Because Asensio's done so little. Danny Graham, this is not his moment, but Andy Carroll's going to come and sit just in between the other two, looking for that flick on. Ten minutes to go. Is there going to be a chance for us? I don't think it's like shape-wise, it doesn't change us too much. We still should be as defensive as ever as Hazard, though, and Theo Hernandez have got different ideas. Lazaro, though, he's my favourite player in the world. Forward to Lotaro Martinez. Can there be a moment for us? Carroll and Esposito in the centre. It's fallen to Paul. Oh, Pogba puts it in the back of the net. I don't know how it happened. Pogba arrived late. It fell to him as perfectly as it possibly could have done. And he puts it away. Paul Pogba. Dearie me. Uh, we, were, we were all hoping for Andy Carroll. Don't get me wrong. But as Lotaro goes forward with it, you can see Pogba arrives late. Oh, it deflects all over the shop. The reactions of Paul Pogba. It looks absolutely ridiculous. It's a goal though. And we take the lead. And there's only one thing we can do here, viewers. We've got our third sub at our disposal. You're damn right we're going to use it. I guess because of what happened last time, I'm going to bring a borer on for Martinez, which is, which is a little safer. Uh, we're going to shut the door. In fact, what am I doing here? Just go attack. We've got to set It's set up for us, Ben. These two are going to switch round. And uh, yeah, we've got three ball winning midfielders sat in front. Seven minutes to go. We have to win this game. We're shutting the doors. Go on, Italian. The clock and the time. The four minutes. This is disgraceful behaviour from a managerial standpoint. The game is up, viewers. It's Milan. It's Milan. Do I put this on the Steam Workshop? I think I have to. We've stolen one in Milan. And uh, Paul Pog with a hero. But goodness me, going Italian worked so well there. It is, it is appalling. But you can see then just a point behind with four to go. Next up... Palmer, who are, they should be on the beach. They've got literally nothing to play for. Pogba on form. I mean, he scored the goal. I'll, we'll just say he had a great game overall, shall we? Into record, important win. And it's interesting to note, actually, when we take a look at the league table, 77 points we've got right now. If we take a look at where we were last year at the end of the season, uh, 74. So we've now gone above what we did last season. And of course, we're still pushing. Lazio, 93 points last year. They won't get there this year. Palmer then, in a few days' time, as uh, I can't have Buff on because the under-18s coaching team is big enough. Fine, maybe I should have done Double checked. Oh, right then. One down. Good. Drink the tea, Ben. Feel feel content. I'm looking at the league table there, actually. What that has done, Napoli with a massive win over Roma, by the way, but what that has done is create a five-point gap between us and Milan. Cheers to that, everyone. And Bologna Bal are back. <laughs> Bologna are going to finish ahead of Zebra at this rate. I love that. Popper gets in team of the week. It just feels a bit wrong, really. I felt like he scored a goal, but that was kind of it. Liverpool uh, in, uh, playing Barcelona in the Champions League. I kind of want, I mean, Barcelona are out, which again might free up their managerial position. Allegri's in charge at the moment. Third in La Liga, though. They are not having the best season ever. And Barcelona, that's the, side, that's the kind of team, if we're to leave Inter, I want to leave for. With the Champions League last year, there was sort of this weird underlying momentum that we had in games where we were a little bit fortunate game after game after game. In the league, I feel like Lazio are a bit stronger. And for the, by that, I just mean they're harder to beat, really. The board are delighted with the club vision, by the way. Developed the best youth system in the country. Have we done that? Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I've done. I've literally done nothing towards that. I've ticked off one of the short-term milestones. How has this been leaked to the press? Yeah, I'm, I'm brilliant, sure. Gadeen's just picked up a knock for one to three days, which is quite big, really, considering I think Anderson's out. They want us to hold a team meeting here. Because of the crucial title, but no, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do a meeting. Because I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happens, viewers. Four of them will be annoyed, and it'll just spread like wildfire across everyone else. Verona play Lazio. Another big game going on. We'll see what happens with this one. Fiorentina beat Sampdoria, but this is the big one. If Verona can do anything, that's massive for us. But I do think Lazio. Oh my God, they've done it. Oh no, 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 no. Because now there's a chance for me to go and do it, and I've got to play. Oh my word, Musa Barrow with the goal. 
I mean, he's got nine this year. He's done well. Lazio are crumbling. Oh, no, no, because I didn't really want... I do want this, obviously. This is obviously the preferred situation. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to try and kid you. But at the same time... My fixtures aren't that easy, so I don't feel like it's a, it's a given. My final three games of the season are Zebra, Bologna and Napoli. So as much as the door is just open, viewers, there are lots of... Again, I'm going to do a Gladiators reference, right? We've still got the Travelator to go up towards the end. That, and that is, that, that's a killer after I've done the rope swing and the zip line. Like, come on. I'm talking 90s Gladiators, not the reboot they did a few years ago. Don't don't kid yourselves. Now, Godin apparently not fully fit for this. Tight groin. You're playing with that. Anderson's still not available. Lucas Dene is going to come back in for Asamoa on that side. And... And uh, the team is going to remain the same. I'm keeping a sense here in this unganched position. Maybe it just doesn't work against good teams. Who knows? Especially teams who play defensive midfielders to just sop a sense here. I will say in terms of signings, 10 assists, 6 goals, 7 player of the match awards. He's had a pretty good year. The average ratings of my team, though, are just not that good. For anyone who's watching the Spurs series at the moment, my team have got really good average ratings and are dreadful. Like, really dreadful. If you're not watching that series, go watch today's because it's getting spicy by spicy i'd be too hot for me to handle hang on asamoah on the bench 12 we've got 12 substitutes use them ben all right then palmer I, I want no drama no drama at all the ogs of watching this will know the situation as um this won't be comfortable javinio and i mean they've got other good players this is a premium alphas at the back what am i saying if a cardi and a tire martinez can't i mean we can qualify for the champions league everyone let's try and do that little do they know i will not be here next season no matter what i think i don't know we're not sure i don't know if it's better to stay into it and challenge for it there's a chance early done free kick played in are we there the fridge puts it wide must have popped it in the freezer by accident. I don't know. If, is this the best position? Is this the best period of time we're going to have to win La Liga? Uh, La Liga, sorry. No, it's not La Liga. Serie A. So I'm already thinking about La Liga. My head's already in Spain, viewers. Brugman. I mean, what's happening? What's happening here? That's... Uh, the, it's broken. It's just broken. Brugman with the corner. Played in. They're there. Handanovic with a save. Oh, my goodness me. That was far too... We're cautious at home to Palmer. Go positive. Forget everything else. I can't be sitting back against Palmer. Sorry, Palmer. But I, come on, let's be realistic here. Comments would have hammered me for that if I'd left it all game. Wall up towards Javinho and Lazaro is enough to put him off as uh, Scalino now finds Lazaro on that right hand side. Ball forward to Lataro. They're very confusing on the same side of the pitch. He goes forward. The shot's on time. It didn't hit the side netting at least, but it, it's a chance. Let's shout at them. Let's uh, get creative. Oh, they're inspired by the feedback. Me on the sideline throwing paintbrushes and PVA glue. Come on. Time's ticking away. This first half is so underwhelming. I guess assertively, we've been the better team. Now I'm far from pleased. Come on, motivate yourselves. Passionately say, you've got the ability to make the difference tonight. I'm not happy with the midfield. Come on, let's work at this. Oh, they've got to win this game. If we draw this after they've just lost, by the way, what are we even doing? Goal difference is so tight as well. Oh my word. I don't know what the head-to-head -head is against them either. Our records, if we win our game in hand, against or for them if, if this stays a draw will be basically level Javinia, Giovanni, oh my word Javinho and Scrinia just collided there but he's kept the ball somehow he's raced forward and done it with a save there there's quite a long time left I, I'm gonna keep it as is for now as that goes forward towards Christmas Sicardi cleared away and we, we keep the ball Pogba the fridge out to Dine on this side he's got to race forward now Lazaro I can see him at the back post he wants it Lataro at the front post though it's a delicious delivery and I think he's on side well to make sure I, I, I see I can't even celebrate VAR has killed this for me I think it's on side though we're seeing the replay that's a pretty good sign Lucas Dene though on the left here, whips a delivery in. It's a great delivery, it really is. And great movement from Lataro Martinez to prod home. We lead. Okay, we lead. And I can see there that we're still a, oh, we're still a point behind. This is just like, we're, we're getting closer. And with this game in hand now, this is starting to fall our way. All I can think about is the last three games we have to play are really difficult. Last year's games are not as diff not, not remotely as difficult, but they've just lost to Verona. So, I mean, anything can happen. They're forward here. Oh, my word, Palmer have scored. It's Roberto Inglés, I think you would say it. And they're level. That feels, that feels a little bit like it came out of nothing, but it was well worked. We fall asleep a little bit. Popper comes across to cover. Does a pretty pathetic job at it, to be honest. They get too much space and time, and that is as easy as it comes, really. The strikers will be eating that up, up all day, every day. We need something to change here. Christmas Acardi or Easter Acardi, as you now know. So bad. Esposito's coming on. 6.4. Where did the hat trick come from? You absolute joker. Oh my goodness me. Palmer, another chance towards Bruno Alves. I mean, anything could happen. They've still got the ball. Have we not given up a penalty? It better be a free kick, I tell you now. He's going to go and check the screen. Oh, I can do without this. Please, no. Let's just let's just have a free kick on the edge of the box. He's reviewing the footage. I hope it's not a penalty. I've got no idea what they're discussing here, really. Please just be nothing. He dived, ref. He dived. And he's decided that it's a penalty. I can't believe it. Handanovic. 
please. I, oh, I feel a bit ill, viewers. I feel a bit ill. Screening it there, just trying to put him off. Can Andanovic save it? Please, my friend, please. Please, please, please. I feel good about it. I don't know why. I think he's going to save it. It's taking so long. Can we kick the ball? Handanovic. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the feeling was. It was clearly incorrect. We've crumbled. We've absolutely crumbled. Asensio attacking midfield attack. I mean, we can't wait much longer. We're going to go to this midfield five across now. We, again, not much choice in the matter. Oh, my God. We were 1-0 up and cruising. Pogba to Asensio. Back to Pogba. Please. Just, I mean, another chance maybe. We've got options either side. Dene, we've seen how Dundee can be. Let's do it again. Cross it in. They've just scored. It's in. Esposito's nearly there. We get it back. The chance not over yet. Dene and Pogba combine. Ball played in. Oh my word, where are we? Andy Carroll would have powered that in. There's another chance. Barella. He's got it about... He's not in an ideal position, but there's still a chance for us. Over to Dene. Oh, don't shoot from there. It's foolish. Play it back. He's gone for goal himself and he scored. Then we're back on level terms. And why are we doing it this way? Please, just can't be win sensibly. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, dear. Pogba to Lazaro. Those two full back. I tell you now. Dene with a touch. I'm thinking at that point, just pull it back for someone. Pull it back for someone. He just drills it at the front post and it goes in. The keeper there is shambolic. No Palmer drama, I said. No Palmer drama. Do we go for this? That's the question. Do we bring on a big man and on a big occasion? You're damn right we do. Danny Graham comes on. We've gone 4-3-3. We need to... I know the draw is okay in a, in a sense, but we need to try and win this, surely. Four minutes left, attack. We've got a chance to have ourselves a lead. It's not going to happen. Danny Graham is not the, the miracle man of Minnesota. He's not Gordon Bombay. But 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it's not perfect, is it? What do you even say? You're happy? I'm, I'm not not good enough. Not good enough. Oh, viewers. It's not as good. I thought it would... Oh. <laughs> and now it comes down to tomorrow. It will be a three-game special. We will do Zebra, Bologna and Napoli. But, oh, dearie me. Into qualify for the Europa League. Perfect. I need that, to be fair. And Martinez has been watched by Liverpool. I'm going to start watching some of their players. Just going to attend the Wolves game. Got no interest in it. So, honestly, there's no interest whatsoever. Just notice that Liverpool are in the FA Cup final and the Champions League. I'm not going to the Premier League game because I just I feel like it looks like I'm looking for a new job, if anything. City have romped the league, by the way. The, the chasing pack are quite a way off. And Harry Kane's at Manchester City. So, uh, how's Lukaku done? Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Oh, of course he has. Of course he has. 18 in 37, 10 more goals. The Premier League's a cinch, viewers. I tell you now. It's easy over there. Doddle. Zebra is a, is a job that apparently is insecure. Jürgen Klopp's insecure as well at Liverpool. Not, not, not that I'm curious. Not that I'm, I am very curious. Dortmund is insecure as well. Very insecure Dortmund. Uh, there's a few there that I'm, I'm thinking about. There could be a managerial merry-go-round and we could be in there. I mean, you never know. Bromley in the National League. It, look, we're trying to win the Premier League. It'll take a long time, but it's worth it. There we are then, gang. That is going to bring us to the end of today's episode. Tomorrow then. Oh, no. Zebra, Bologna, Napoli. These bloody draws. It's an easy Palmer to joke. Right then, I'll see you for it. I genuinely can't wait. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, do drop a like on it. Let's aim for 1,500. If you if you enjoy the series, show the support, and I'll see you tomorrow for more with Love With Care. We'll get some until next time. It's a little bit tense for me, viewers. It's a little bit tense.